Today we're going to be reviewing the Trad Free LED Smart Bulbs from IKEA. So why IKEA Smart Bulbs? Because they're ridiculously cheap. These only cost me £4 each, so I bought a lot of them. And these actually run on the Zigbee protocol. More on that later. So my plan for this video is to replace all the spotlights on my media wall with the GU10 bulbs from IKEA. So then I'll be able to dim them, um, set routines, say if I wanted to watch a movie, I could have the lights dimmed down for that. I could have them come on at a certain time of day in the evening at sunset. It just gives me a lot more options. And for the price of just £4 a bulb, it was just too good a deal to pass by. So even though I bought these bulbs, I didn't buy the Zigbee Hub from IKEA. And this was because it was £60 and I didn't really want to spend that on a hub. And I wanted to try something. Now, I'm not fully sure this will even work but let's give it a try and see what happens. So instead of using IKEA's Zigbee Hub, I'm going to see if I can make it work through my Amazon Echo 4th Gen, which has a built-in Zigbee Hub inside it, but I've never tried this. I have read that it should work, but let's see. So these are the Tradfry LED 400 lumens 5 watt bulbs GU10s from IKEA. Let's see what's inside the box. So there's the actual bulb, and I'm pretty sure that's all we're going to need. There is some instructions in here, but I am just going to try and do this because I don't think I'm doing it in the right way. Since I'm setting it up to my Amazon Echo 4th Gen rather than the Zigbee Hub from Ikea. So we're just going to wing it and see how we get on. So I have just changed one of my bulbs for the Ikea Smart Bulb. That is now in there, and now I'm going to start seeing if I can sync it to the Amazon Echo Hub. I have brought the Echo Hub right beside it so distance shouldn't be an issue but now i'm going to go into the app and see if i can get this bulb working so it does say for setup that this should be switched off and then once you start searching for devices you then switch it on if you're having any issues and it's not already currently in pairing mode because it should begin flashing when you first switch it on then all you have to do is switch your light on and off six times and that should put it back in pairing mode so you're able to then search for the device. So let's do that now. So I am in my Alexa app and I'm going to go to add a device. I'm going to say a light and I think there is an option for Ikea, but I am just going to go all the way to the bottom and say other so I can choose Zigbee and then make sure the device is within nine meters of a compatible echo. So I'm going to press discover devices and I'm going to switch it on. And it is now blinking. Now it does seem like it's found it. Now it's come to a solid light, which makes me think that the Echo has gained ownership of that bulb. Yep, yeah, and there we go. It says one light found and connected, set up device. So I will put that in my living room, add to group. It's six light, it's decided to call it, which is fine. Uh, yeah, let's test that motion lights on. I'll, sk I'll skip that for now. Uh, later, continue. Continue. So I'm going to go into lights and I'm going to find six. I'm going to go into six light. So let's see if we're controlling that now. That's it off. That's power on. And we can even adjust the brightness if we want to, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to get the bulb. That's great. So that's worked. So it works. I'm really impressed with that. I'm really happy with it. Can't believe how easy that was. If you're in IKEA and you have an Amazon Echo 4th Gen or an Echo Plus, then pick these up at the moment, especially coming up to Christmas when this video is released. They are on sale and they're even cheaper than usual. I think the usual price in the UK was £8 and I got them for £4 each. And you just don't get Zigbee products at this price. So for those that don't know what Zigbee is, Zigbee is just a protocol similar to Wi-Fi but it means you're able to have more devices on this protocol because if you have too many devices on your modem, your internet will start to slow down, especially putting six bulbs up. You're going to notice a bit of lag on your internet speed. Whereas if you use the Zigbee hub inside the Amazon Echo, then you are able to use these devices with no issues whatsoever. The other advantage of Zigbee is that it uses less power, so it is more energy efficient. Also, Zigbee devices act as a relay which means that you're able to have a greater range with these products throughout your home. 
it just means that you're not as restricted as to where you can put them. Usually when you're setting them up, you're best off having the echo right beside them. But after that, once they are set up, you can kind of move the echo wherever you want and it should still work fine because they're then able to piggyback off each other's signal and just have a better range throughout the whole home. They do also claim to have stronger security. So when you actually pair a Zigbee device, then it seems to be, from my personal experience, it does seem to be better. I've had issues in the past where I've had Wi-Fi devices and I will say that I've had some Wi-Fi devices that have worked great and I've never had one bit of issue with them. Like the lights in the background of my TV, they're Govi and I've never had a problem with them. But some issues in the past that I have had with bulbs was that every now and again you'd go to switch the bulb on and it would just be in pairing mode. I've personally never had that problem with Zigbee. It just seems to work, which makes things easier, which is better. And then you don't get your wife and kids shouting you because the lights have randomly started flashing again and turned your room into a disco. I also think that it does have easier configuration because you can just set this up directly in the Amazon Alexa app. There's no need for a third party app. So you're not relying on that. You can literally just go, once it's in pairing mode, find a device and that's it done. So for ease of use, definitely I would prefer these Zigbee bulbs over a Wi-Fi alternative. So would I recommend this product? If you've been listening to this review, obviously you know that's already a yes. Really happy with it. And for what I wanted them for, for changing six bulbs to six smart bulbs could have been extremely costly, but I managed to get it done for £24, which I'm really, really happy with. The setup was quick and easy. It didn't take long. They're all paired together. And now if I want to watch a movie, I can just have the lights dim. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. If you end up picking some of these up, please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on them. And thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, thank you for watching.